What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to place snap points inside your models for easy assembly of objects. Before we get started I want to take a second to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Haran Zaguri and Robert Hobbs. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to vote on the extension that I cover every week and support the show, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Snap Connector Tool. Plugin developer, Cadman. Plugin cost, $18. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse or at the link in the notes down below. Tool functions. This tool is designed specifically to allow you to place snap points inside of groups and components, then quickly align those points. Note that this extension only seems to work on points placed inside of groups and components, so your points will need to be placed inside of groups. The way it works is fairly simple. Simply create a group or component, then use the place connector tool to place a point inside of your object. At that point, you can then click outside of your group and place one point on top of the other. You do this by clicking on the snap connector icon and then clicking on a snap. Once you've selected a snap, you can then mouse over another snap and click on it in order to align those objects. Note that the tool itself only works for snapping one fixed point to another, which is what makes it so valuable for assembly. However, you can use these points as inference points inside your model as well using the Move tool. You can either use this to move objects that have already been created, or if you tap the Control key, you can use the tool to make a copy of the object you've selected. Note that this works with multiple different selections as well. So if you select multiple different objects and then use the Snap Connector tool, um, it'll copy all of the selected objects. One of the more useful functions contained in this tool is the ability to rotate objects with the keyboard once they've been placed. This allows you to align different objects based on the Snap Connectors. Once an object has been placed, you can tap the up arrow key to rotate around the blue axis the right arrow key to rotate around the red axis, and the left arrow key to rotate around the green axis. This can be especially useful for things like aligning pipes with fittings or other things like that. You can also align the object with the snap connector's direction by pressing the down key on your keyboard. This means you can easily place off-axis objects and then align things to those off-axis objects really easily. You can toggle the snap connectors layer on and off by tapping the light bulb. This means that you can turn these off when you're not using them. Overall, I really like this extension for object assembly. If you use SketchUp with any kind of a library of components that you then assemble together in any kind of format, I can see how setting up your component library with these snap connectors could be really powerful and save you a lot of time. That's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this extension? Could you see some cool uses for this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.